Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Wisden Amy uh, from Bologna, Italian, centre half slash right back. Uh, can play either of those positions. 15 years old so very very young at this stage in the game um, but looks promising. Uh, some decent heading and tackling so far. Hopefully that'll increase some physicals that are really really nice there uh, and some good bravery and determination along with that. So let's take a look at his attributes uh, and his attributes are 138 potential with 84 current ability it would be surprising if he reaches that but it would be great to see him reach the 134 that he could do um, but before we jump ahead make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and of course leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes but let's jump ahead and take a look how he gets on and here we are then wisdom any Wisdom Amy, I should say, uh, 25 years old now, made one appearance for the Italian national team, currently at Borussia Mönchengladbach, wanted by the likes of Celtic uh, in for a transfer, um, looking very good physicals. We saw that they were already very good and they've got even better. Some lovely concentration and determination and aggression, anticipation, bravery in there, which is brilliant um his physical technicals have increased not by a lot it would have been nice to see him improve a little bit more um he's definitely more of a center back than a right back but even this as a center back I, it's a little bit risky with those technicals i'd have to say um take a look at his history though we can see originally from bologna moving to pisa for 4.2 million a quick move to sampdoria followed for 6.75 million and then a move to roma for 6 million um it's surprising that he went for less um in the next season sampdoria had really not bothered by him even though he played 37 games for them getting a 6.96 rating which isn't too bad um he performed very very well for roma uh though in his first season and second season it looks like he may have got an injury or something that put him out played 10 games before a move to Borussia Mönchengladbach for 8 million so he's certainly gone up in the world um, throughout his career uh, and like I say 25 years old he's still got time uh, and as a centre half can probably play a little bit longer than most other players on the pitch um, other than the goalkeeper obviously can play on the left hand side of midfield as well as makeshift winger if you need him to um, with that pace absolutely why not good bit of acceleration maybe not with the dribbling and crossing though that I might avoid otherwise. Um, let's take a look at his milestones. So uh, we can see here, competitions-wise, uh, that he ended up getting relegated from Syria twice <laughs> with Sampdoria and Pisa. Maybe that's why Sampdoria let him go. Then went on to Roma, where he won the Italian Cup and got runner-up in the Europa League uh, and also runner-up in the DFB Pokal. So he has been competitive with teams, um, just not quite reaching the highest of heights. Uh, but... Certainly, at the last stage of his career, he might be able to do so if he improves his technicals. Um, we've got Italian Serie A, best young player of the season, supporters player of the year, um, Le Giovanna Italia, under-19 best defender as well. So, for Pisa, he was winning all the awards for young players. Uh, team of the month, team of the week, multiple times as well, otherwise... Uh, and seasonal best 11s as well, of course, for the likes of Bruce and Munchen Gladbach. So, not a bad centre-back. Not great. I wouldn't say incredible with the technicals, but physicals look fantastic. Mentals aren't too shabby either. Uh, let's take a look at his attributes then. He's he's actually reached his potential. Um, well, pretty much. 137 out of 138 isn't too bad. I wasn't really expecting that, but he's obviously got the right moves at the right time to get the game time he needed as well, which is good to see. A um, little bit of a shame that his technicals don't go any higher than this. Would be nice to see them increase, but otherwise a pretty decent player as a backup. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes, and I'll catch you in the next one.